America all through the late 50s about this thing out there in space because the astronomers were all watching it and that was back when they weren't afraid to talk about it. It was in the science magazines. I mean, I had a subscription to like popular science and hell, it was on the front cover of the magazine one day in like 1961. And uh, I was really excited when I saw it because here's this giant red planet on the horizon uh, of the California coast and a humongous tidal wave coming in towards the coast and having grew up in the mountains of uh, the Sierras and this thing in the magazine it said this tidal wave coming in was going to be at least three miles high and I went and showed it to everybody in the house and they laughed and they said look it says right here there's nothing to worry about it won't be here for another 50 years hey guess what that 50 years has came and gone and uh, this baby's out there in the sky. They've been watching it. I watched it. And I can tell you, this thing has got so much trash coming around it. You know how we live in a solar system? We've got nine planets and a big sun. This right. thing has got seven planets and its own sun. But I believe that instead of having dirt on it like our planet does and water, I think this thing is just a big a uh, bright red orange iron ball because it's giving off all this red iron oxide dust out into the atmosphere. When we thought at first it was just a teeny little red speck of, of fuzzy red dust in the distance, but over the years as it went by and we watched it, it got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then finally about 08, we could see this thing like it was across the street. And we could see that it was a blazing hot ball of fire giving out sparkles of red iron oxide dust for thousands of miles in every direction. And you could see the planet circulating it. Now, I'll tell you one thing that I really am nervous about. I think this thing's got a planet like ours circling it. This is its own solar system. We're about to have a solar system come through the middle of our solar system. This can't be good. But unfortunately, it looks as though that's what's going to happen. Hopefully nothing in this mess will hit us, even though it does say it will in the Bible. At least it does in my Bible. It says we can expect all kinds of problems. We were looking at asteroids right close to this thing. There's asteroids that are floating around right near the, uh, that are orbiting the, uh, the main sun itself. These things appear to be about 500 miles across. And, and as you go back into the tail, you get into meteorites that go back for millions of miles in the tail. This thing looks like a giant red teardrop shaped dust cloud. And you can see, once if, you, if you're able to see it up close like we did, you can see every speck out there. I guarantee you there's trillions of meteorites following this thing. Now, these CIA people that I know say that we're not going to uh, uh, be that close to it when it goes past us. They're saying that in order to attain breakaway speed, when it comes up around the backside of the sun, its speed will at least double, possibly more which will put it here earlier than everybody is saying it will. And uh, that this thing will probably be about 20, mi 20 million miles from us when, when it crosses in front of us. And then as soon as it flips us upside down, we're going to go into its debris field tail and be pelted with uh, meteorites. And of course, in the Bible, it says they will attack on 70 pounds. So if you've got 70 pound meteorites following like hail, and I can guarantee you they will be falling like hail because there are that many in the tail of this thing. This thing has got a tail loaded with trash. I mean, uh, it's incredible the amount of stuff that's in this thing's tail. And uh, we're going to go right through that tail. 